Hello, and welcome back to Dream Daddy Simulator. I can't see the screen anymore. There we go. You can see it That now. was weird. Okay. It was like pure black. I was confused. <laughs> That's weird. <sighs> you think you have everything finally set up. Amanda should be here any minute now. You think that's your car in the driveway. Okay. Gotta act natural. Be cool, Zane. Be cool. <laughs> that should be Well, hard. that's not gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> Amanda walks through the door with a suspicious look on her face. Hey, Dad. Off to a good start. Something fishy. Rats. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> Hang on, I'm still back on Hey Dad, hang on. That's okay. I'm I'm uh selecting choices. We have what no, you asked too many questions. Oh, I thought that said it's the Reds. I thought we were... It's the Feds. <laughs> the fucking communists are here Sorry, for you. Sorry, sweetie, it's the Feds. <laughs> that life of crime is finally catching up to you. I tried to send them in a different direction, but even I'm no match for the power and Funding. I don't know what the rest of that says. Funding of the U.S. government. Okay. <laughs> well, if they think they're going to take me alive, they got another thing coming. I'm kidding. You're right. I have a little surprise for you. Oh. I had sex with Craig. <laughs> no, that's not the surprise. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. <laughs> you have a new daddy? <laughs> You're very bad at lying. Hey! Amanda, my dear, would you come join me in the kitchen? Father, it would be... It, it would... Yeah, no, it would be fill my heart... See, I read it correctly and it's wrong. It would fill my heart with glee. You lead Amanda over to the kitchen table where a present lies covered under a tablecloth. It's nothing special, but I wanted to get you a little something. Graduated high school last week. I know you told me not to make a big deal about it, but... Ah, Dad, you... You dramatically whipped the cloth off the table. Amanda's jaw <laughs> drops. <laughs> no way. I figure you probably won't even be able to... Able to... Get... Cable get cable in the dorm, so I thought it might be nice to take a piece of home with you. Nailed it. A DVD Shut box up, it's set- it's fuzzy! I Leave know. me alone! That's why I said you nailed it! A DVD box set- a DVD- I can read it, and I still can't read it. <laughs> a DVD oh, box oh, set- paranormal. I wrote no sugar. Yeah, that. This is all- 19 seasons! <laughs> Yeah, dude. That's exactly like Supernatural. Bonus material, including commentary with actual ghosts featured on the show. Ooh. Dad. I love this. Thank you. She gives me a big hug. Because me is you. <laughs> Glad you like it. Hey, you want to hang out with me in the backyard for a bit? Toss the old pig skin or something? Totally. You follow Amanda to the back door. Mm. What? You told me not to make a big deal, but you seem to have forgotten that my entire mission in life is to make a big deal out of your accomplishments. So consider this your graduation party. Surprise! Dad, everyone's here. Yes, all f seven of them. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, yeah, everyone wanted to come and support you. It's literally everyone in the city. Is that a mac and cheese bar? Damn it, Craig. <laughs> sure is. Fully customizable down to the type of mac. Ice cream cake. Good kind with the crunchies in the middle. I love those. I don't know what to say. Why are our child's eyes yellow? I've just realized this. They're, like, hazel. Say anything. Just go have fun with your pals, alright? So proud of you, Amanda. Amanda smiles and runs to her friends. 
you should make the rounds and make sure everyone's having a good time. But first, mac and cheese. Because you know what's important. That's right. Zane! Ryan! You made it! Uh -huh. Ah, don't pass up gone good mac. Nobody does. What do you think of the party? That's yeah, not bad. Uh huh. Just not bad? Yeah, it's not bad. Shut up. <laughs> Don't let him bait you. Don't let him bait you. <laughs> Thank you. For the lovely compliment. Daisy trots up. Hi, Amanda's dad. Hey, Brian's daughter. See? See how that feels? This is a really great party. Thanks so much for inviting us. Yeah, my house. You're very welcome, tiny child who knows how to pay a compliment. <laughs> Brian and you lock eyes. This, this is isn't over. over. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like we've settled into this neighborhood quite nicely. Yeah, I couldn't ask for a better cold to set. Well, I'm glad. Uh, hopefully we'll see you at more church events. We got a big schedule planned for the rest of the year. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> sure thing, Joseph. And maybe if you aren't doing anything later, we could hang out sometime. No, Joseph. No, I already no. made my answer. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Hugo comes Hugo! with you with a plate, plate of mac, of mac and cheese. Because who doesn't want that? Perfect cheddar to mac ratio. Beautiful work, Zane. Thanks, Hugo. You know, I'm really pleased to see Amanda going to her dream school. I'm glad she turned it around for finals. Me too. Scholarship money is really going to help. Amanda walks by and pretends to not see Hugo. Amanda, come say hi to your old teacher. Hey. Congratulations on graduating. I know you're going to do great things at art school. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks. Figure banging. <laughs> Amanda, yeah. Amanda starts to back away. Wait, I just realized that you're not my teacher anymore, so I don't have to be afraid of talking to you. You no longer hold power over me. You're right. Go forth, adult. I can no longer give you detention. Yeah, I'm going to break anything I want, and there's nothing you can do about it. Are you still mad about the time I gave you detention for breaking my globe? Nope. Oh. And I'll have you know that the globe didn't even fit through the basketball hoop in the first place. So. She'll fit into college just fine. Hey. What's up? Hey. Good talk, Robert. <laughs> Robert gestures vaguely to the snack table. Good stuff. Yeah. See you later. Would people's choices and responses here be different if we continued? Yes. Okay. Hey, man. My tattoo is on the wrong arm. It's because they flipped him around. Matt. Oh, wait, Matt. <laughs> Let me know when Amanda leaves the college. I have a fresh batch of the talking banana breads ready for her. Why is banana in parentheses? Don't you worry about it. <laughs> Thank you. I know she'll love that. This is a special banana bread. What a splendid garden party. My deepest thanks for extending an invitation to my son and I. This icebox cake is divine. What the- Oh god, I hate you. <laughs> oh. Yeah, thanks, dude. Good cake. I hate both of you so much. Thanks for coming by. Goodbye. Hey, looks like Amanda's hanging out with Briar and Hazel. Let's see what they're up to. Why are they wearing their uniforms? Because <laughs> they live in them. Okay, Briar, think of a shape. Hazel, what's she thinking? Square. Briar? Star. 
We'll get in next time. <laughs> we'll get there. Amanda leans in close to Briar and Hazel, lowering her voice. Listen, you guys can be real with me. If you're downplaying your psychic abilities, I want to know that you can trust me. I want you to know that you can trust me. Heck, even think of me as the third twin. Amanda, that's a triplet. You know, Dad, by the time I'm done with these kids, we're going to be finishing each other's... What? You didn't finish your sentence. What are, what are we going to be finishing? Each other's... Sentences! <laughs> Set, you heard it. I said it. See? Third twin. Nailed it. I have to go. <laughs> I'm disappointed there in my child. <laughs> this is your romantic. This is your romantic moment. What's up, Craig? Be prepared. As the party starts to wind down, you take a seat next to Craig. The sun is setting, and everyone seems to have eaten their fill. The fuck is this backyard? This is your backyard, man. This is the best backyard ever, bro. Bro. This reminds me of the parties we used to throw. Fewer keg stands, of course. Probably for the best. I don't want to get my hip replaced after a party trick goes wrong. We can leave keg stands in the past. Craig size. <sighs> Doing alright? Yeah, dude. I'm alright. I just can't hang for too long. I gotta get back home and answer some emails. What happened to relaxing? I am relaxing right now. We're sitting on a bench. Yeah, well, I can be. Sta I could be standing. See, relaxing. Right, you gotta take better care of yourself. I care about you, and I want you to be okay. I appreciate it, but I'm fine. You're a good friend, dude. Oh, shut up. A good friend. You. Do you ever wish that maybe? We were more than that. Oh, bro. Uh, I'm sorry if I gave off that impression. Yeah, like when you guys were making out in a tent and stuff. Yeah, what the fuck, Craig? To be honest, I kind of wondered the same thing, but... Nice. Craig, I don't, no. I don't have the time for that right now. Craig, we were, Craig. I think we're just better off as friends. No. Oh. Craig hops up. Alright, buddy. I gotta get moving. Thanks for inviting me. Let's hang soon, yeah? That would be nice. Craig jogs out of the yard. Man. Well, I'm gonna hang myself from this tree now, I suppose. <laughs> I understand the feeling. The last uh -huh. guests begin to... Uh, shut up. The last guests begin to make their way out of the party. Amanda wanders over and sits down next to me. You. Fuck you. Killer party, Pops. What can I say? I was inspired. So, I, uh, I also have something for you. For me? Why? Not to be completely genuine about my feelings for once or anything, but... Growing up wasn't easy, but it could have been a lot harder if it wasn't for you. Dad, you've been there for me through everything. There's, there's been times in my life where you were my only friend. I was really scared of going to college and being so far away from you, but I realized that everything you've done for me has been to prepare me for this, and I'm ready. I wouldn't be who I am today without you. Don't cry. Don't cry. I swear to God, Satan, if you cry again. You're the best dad. I love you. And you're crying. Bravo. Anyway, that was enough emotional vulnerability for one day. <laughs> Present time. Amanda hands you a tiny wrapped package. You tear the wrapping off to find a framed picture of you and Amanda. It's us. Kind of shocking all of our photo albums are just pictures of me, right? I figured we needed at least one together before I leave. Thank you. 
watching you grow up has been the happiest experience of my life. You're such a talented, intelligent young woman, and I'm so excited to see what the future holds for you. Knock him dead, kid. Meh. Meh. <laughs> Always do. Amanda and you share a hug. This is only the beginning, Pops. Plenty more memories for us down the road. Memories to make, it's tough to break, right? Oh, I'm going to break so much stuff. Intentionally and unintentionally. You're probably going to have to pay for most of it. It would be my honor. You and Amanda wave bye to the party goers as they leave. You sit together and watch the sun slowly dip below the horizon. I'm glad you made some friends. Yeah. I know that's maybe not what you were looking for, but these people care about you. I love you, Dad. We'll always have each other. You're right. It's gonna be hard at first, this next chapter in our life. <laughs> this is the next chapter in our story. I'd be nervous about it, but I know you're always going to be looking out for me the same way I always be looking out for you. Team Awesomeness. Assumenes. <laughs> Assumenes. Team Assumenes. 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 Craig, you are! Yeah. Well, that was depressing. Craig, you are! Aaron Hansen! You heard. Wait, wait, wait. Where wait, is it? Voice Robert, credits. Robert Dan. All right, Barry. Craig was Nathan. <gasps> Nathan, really? I love Nathan Sharp. That dude is the. Ray the the Why does that name sound familiar? Which one? Ray. Can I back it up? Nope. No, Our... I cannot. I'm just making it go faster. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna continue to let this play out. <laughs> oh shit! One of the Rooster Teeth guys was in this. Oh shoot! But but Nate. I didn't see who he played. Nate Sharp was in here. It was uh, Ray something Junior. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Where'd he go? Thank you. More Who's one of those voices? Dan Nathan Sharp. Yes, I heard you. D Danny was Robert. Yes, I. I know. I told you, but. I will it's hear good. all of the all the sounds when it goes up. <sighs> you got it. You got it. Quality assurance. Test company, please ignore. It. So this game was actually developed oh, by. All these people. Vernon, not the Game Grumps. It's Vernon's team who did it. It was their baby. The Grumps just lended their names and their voices to it. You know what? It doesn't matter because they made they helped make it awesome. Everybody, you y'all did a good job. I mean, my heart is broken. <laughs> Legitimately, yeah, Craig, you whore. <laughs> but that that couldn't have happened without some quality work so I, I from what i understand you've already seen the ending for your guy right yeah yeah from what i understand there is no good ending with robert no. either no craig has a good ending we just didn't get it well i didn't because we got a c in that uh... i mean technically robert does have a good ending it's a little it's similar to the one that we just experienced with craig but it's a little different in its impression. Okay. But yeah. So it's not a bad ending like that. It's Fair a little enough. nicer. But yeah, that was horrible. We suck. <laughs> yeah. Our heart's broken. Hugo's a douche. Craig's a whore. Ugh. The light downstairs is on, which means I need to go get stuff from the car. So we will see you guys in the next episode. See you then. Peace.